Hi, this is a video tutorial for learning purposes only. I'll be explaining a XNOR gate symbol and how it's uh, put together. What we have is an electric circuit emulating an XNOR gate. 5 volt battery, 1k ohm resistor, a switch A, a switch B, and a lamp. This dotted line means that there is a mechanical interlock in between this half of the switch and this half of the switch. When you push down on the switch, this half of the switch closes, this half of the switch opens. Same thing that's happening right here. What we have here is the logic symbol for an XNOR gate. You have two ways of showing it. You can show it this way, similar to an XOR gate, with a little doohickey added, at the end, added to the end making it an XNOR gate. Same thing right here, XOR gate with an inverter making it an XNOR gate. This is a truth table. I'll be using this illustration to show exactly what's happening right here. Basically when you don't press A, you don't press B, you get a logical one. Electron flow passes. When you don't press the A, and you do press the B, electron flow does not pass. When you do press the A, and you don't press the B, electron flow does not pass. When you do press the A, and you do press the B, electron flow passes. This right here is a 4077 IC circuit chip. This is a typical XNOR gate chip. I couldn't find one, so what I did was I built one that does the, uh, a very, the very same thing, except I used two different chips. A 4070 quad exclusive OR gate with a 7404 hex inverter chip. And that's what's happening here. Let's see how this works. The light turns on, which is a good indication. That's what's happening right here. You're not pressing the A, you're not pressing the B. Electron flow passes through the lights on. You press the A. The light turns off, similar to this illustration. You press the B, same thing happening here. Now if you press both, that's the very last one. Now right here, you have a PLC programming. There's two ways of showing this XNOR gate business. We have two normally open push buttons. One push button here with a uh, with a examine if close and examine if open addressed to this push button push button one same thing examine if close examine if open addressed to push button two right now this right here this is an examine if open this is true this is examine if open push button two that's true that's why electron flow passes through this direction, turning on the lamp. When you push push button one, this will turn to true. This will become false, turning off the lamp. And this right here is false, by the way. So that's why the lamp will turn off if you push push button one. If you do the inverse, if you push, this becomes false, this becomes true. You push, push button two, this becomes true, this becomes false, and the light turns off because electron flow uh, logic continuity does not pass through the false, stopping there. Electron flow passes this way through the true. This turns off. Right, um, it doesn't allow this false to pass through. 
so it just passes it just stops right here turning off the lamp when you press both the two top ones the examine if closed situation turns on this becomes true this becomes true this becomes false and this becomes false okay. and that's one way another way is with this XOR gate I'm not going to get into the detail of this one you could look back on the uh, XOR gate uh, tape that I created earlier video I created earlier this right here is controlled with a control relay bit relay in other words when this relay is open examine if open the light will, this will be true turning on the lamp when you press it, the button this will um, close or become a one and it'll turn off the lamp this will become this was actually true and then it'll become false turning off the lamp same thing for the B turning off the lamp so either one you release the button examine if open this becomes true turning on the lamp and that's how an X NOR gate circuit works <laughs>